Okay, so now let's talk about networking. If you are using Yocto, what is provided by default by Intel, um, Aero is acting as a Wi-Fi access point, as a hotspot. So it's very easy to use. Uh, you don't need a third-party Wi-Fi router. You can just use it anywhere. So look for a um, Wi-Fi network called Aero, followed by the MAC address of your drone. So as different from each drone. And the password is what you see on screen, uh, 10 numbers. So uh, you can connect your development station to the Aero IP, and the Aero IP is, uh, as displayed on screen, it's always the same thing. Login is root, and there is no password. And by the way, the first thing you should do is set a new password with a command password. Another way to have a terminal on Aero is to plug your computer directly with a micro USB cable from your computer to Intel Aero. And uh, there is an Ethernet over USB network that will appear. And uh, if you SSH to the IP 192.168.7.2, then uh, you will access the drone. The problem with this method is that each computer has very different network settings and firewalls and things like that. So it may not work for your computer. So we saw that by default, when you're using uh, Yocto, the drone is working as an access point. It means that it won't access internet. There is no internet access set up by default. So you can change the way Aero works from access point to uh, client mode for Wi-Fi and then connect it to your router with um, like WPA2 passwords and stuff like that. So it's all documented on our website. So Intel Aero IP, if you are in access point mode, it is uh, always the same. It is 192.168.8.1. If you are using Aero as a client in a larger uh, Wi-Fi network, then it depends on your router. So you can ask your router, your DHCP server in your router. The other method is to connect a screen to Aero and to launch a command IP at, and you will see the uh, IP allocated by your DHCP server. So when you have your network uh, working, the first thing you'll want to do is probably to connect with SSH. So here is an example. On Mac, it's already included. On Linux, of course. Uh, on Windows, you can use uh, Pucky for SSH and FileZilla for SCP. SCP is to copy file over SSH. Very simple. Login is root. There is no password. Next thing you'll probably want to do is to start coding and executing and compiling. So you have the choice between editing locally on Intel Aero over SSH or editing on your computer on transferring the files for uh, execution or compilation. So by default, you have uh, Vim installed on Yocto. On a moment, it's a bit different because you have a full desktop being installed on Aero. Uh, so you have a, a graphical user interface running on the screen. So you can launch a graphical um, development environment directly on Aero with a screen on keyboard and mouse connected. But you can still edit remotely and transfer your files. So if you're working with Python, and we recommend you do, if you like Python, uh, here is uh, Idler. It's a very typical, very basic editor for Python, running directly on the graphical user interface of Aero. And here is Eric, a sophisticated uh, development environment for Python, also running on Aero directly. And here is my preferred method, running VI or Vim over a SSH connection remotely. OK, so in this uh, demo, we saw how to connect Intel Aero to your Wi-Fi network, because when you're using Yocto, by default, it is an access point. If you're using Ubuntu, it is already uh, in client mode, so you can connect to whatever Wi-Fi network you have. Um, you refer to the documentation on our website to learn about MMCLI. We also uh, saw how to develop code using SSH or a local graphical editor running locally on Intel Aero. So you're good to go.